Go mute it. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Lilia, for the introduction and, and welcome everyone to, to our session about the digital attendance list uh, through the Studo app. I'd like to very briefly introduce our team here today. Um, we have uh, Lolo Schmoli with us. He's located in Austria in Graz. Um, he's the managing director of Studo in Austria. Um, we have also here Filippo Oru, who is uh, one of uh, one of the developers in our developing team, also located in Graz currently. And my name is Christoph Sonnenschein, uh, located in Germany, because I work for the Studo team in Germany, managing higher education institution corporations. So basically any kind of um, conversation that we have with universities and Fachhochschulen with that respect, in that respect. Um, yeah, welcome to our session. As Lilia already indicated, please feel free to just use the chat, uh, the chat module if you want to ask any questions. Um, also, we will be available, of course, for Q&A later on, but sometimes it's easier to just answer some of the questions uh, while we are presenting um, in the chat function. Um, so we're here today to talk about our, to talk about our digital attendance list, uh, but before we do that, I will give you a very brief introduction to what Studo actually is um, for those of you who do not know it yet. And I hope you can all see my screen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I have, I have some weird, weird image here. Um, okay. So Studo is, uh, um, we are, uh, we are, we are, we are, we, consider ourselves as an edtech company assisting students and universities in their digitalization processes. Um, and we offer services in many ways, but our main tool is an app that we have developed uh, in 2016, so five years ago, and it's um, in broad uh, usage already in Austria, Germany, and Slovenia. Um, and maybe for you to get some, ah, here we go. Uh, some some facts and figures. Um, so we are among the most successful apps um, in those three countries. We are available in a few more countries, uh, but not on broad range. Um, we currently dispose over 350,000 users, um, opening the app approximately uh, 1 million times a day, so 1 million active sessions per day. Um, and we have our app has been downloaded over 600,000 times already. Um, we are rated as the best university app actually currently in the in the App Store, um, the Play Store, with a rating above 4.5 stars, which we are very proud of because um, as long as our users think we are doing okay, uh, we feel very proud and honored of our work. Um, the app is uh, available in German, English, and also in Slovenian because there's a lot of Slovenian, there are a couple of Slovenian cooperation agreements that we have and a lot of uh, Slovenian users. Um, and we actually are cooperating currently with 31 universities in those three countries. Um, and last but not least, we are 29 employees altogether. We have a big developing team, uh, but also management team, of course, uh, behind all that. So those are the stats about the Studo app and what the Studo app does. Is it? It uh, facilitates the daily life of students. Um, it's basically a organization helper. So students can, through the app, um, actually manage all their daily study administration. They can enter the, the, the campus management system of their respective university. Uh, they can go through their syllabus, through their course schedule, calendar, emails. Uh, they can look into their grades. Um, so all sorts of sort, sorts of things that students have to be aware of during their daily life, and they have it on the mobile phone um, and on the smartphone, and do not have to open their laptop or their desktop um, every time and go through various windows. Um, but they can just very basically and intuitively use the app um, to do their daily tasks. Um, there are many more features features for students in there. It's not only about the university administration, but it's also about student life. So there's also a couple of features covering um, the social life or other features uh, that are relevant for students. Um, but we will not go deeper into that. Um, I would like to hint at what we also do for universities, because once students use the app on broad range at a university, of course, the university can use the app as a communication channel towards the students. Um, so for these purposes, we have developed, for example, an evaluation system. So students can evaluate courses through the app, a work assessment um, tool, which basically tracks the workload that students do in the course of the whole semester. 
um, a QR code for contact tracing now during Corona times and, and, and uh, uh, digital student ID, for example. But the most recent feature is our digital attendance list. And that is something that we felt and that actually universities have come up, uh, sorry, have come to us um, asking if they can somehow transport this still very burdensome administrative um, task into an app and digitalize it. Uh, so we have looked into it and came up with a system that is now being piloted in an, at an Austrian university. Um, and as far as we uh, see it, uh, it's doing quite well. And we thought that may be something of interest for many other universities as well. Um, and having this said, I would like to hand over to Filippo, who knows way better about the techniques of this uh, feature than I do. Thanks, Christoph. Let me just share my screen real quick. Can you all see my presentation? Yes, works fine. Thank you. Nice. Perfect. So hello, everyone. As Christoph said, my name is Filippo Oro, and I'm on the development team at Studo. And I helped develop the app and various backend features, as well as some of the features of the digital attendance list. And I'm very happy to be here today to tell you a bit more about the digital attendance list, short DAL. I'm going to use these terms interchangeably and how it's used daily and what it really is, what problems it solves. And let me start out with that, with the motivation and why you should even listen to me. Why should you just keep listening to this talk and not go to some uh, other talk? Because the status quo is that many universities require the students to have a certain attendance rate, but the solution to this problem is currently all analog. So. I guess you've all seen this at the beginning of a lecture or of each lecture, the teacher hands out a list and every student has to sign it. And the issue with this is it's just a huge effort for everyone involved. Teachers have to manage all those lists. They have to print them and bring them to every class, not forget them and uh, go through the irritation at the beginning of each class while the students pass the list from the front to the back and um, back to the teacher. And most of all, the administration has to collect all these lists at the end of the semester and manually go through each lecture and each student to calculate their attendance rate. That's just a huge burden. So this consumes a lot of resources. And on top of that, there's special cases, for example, when a student is absent uh, or excused, uh, for example, because they got sick and this has to factor into their attendance rate as well. And lastly, not to mention the privacy concerns because everyone seeing everyone else's signature isn't so great in that regard. So we thought this is the perfect candidate for a digitalization and also partnered with an Austrian university to pilot this. And it's currently being used and with great success so effort. So what is DAL? We built DAL as a solution for tracking lecture attendance digitally. Students use their smartphone to check into lectures. Teachers spend way less time tracking attendance and they can focus on what they do best, which is teaching. And most importantly, the administration uh, gets powerful digital tools to automate all these repetitive tasks that happen every semester or even more frequently than that. And it frees up resources. How can I explain DAL? Through two sides. So firstly, DAL has the side of the classroom experience in which the teacher opens up the website and shows this QR code, which you can see on screen using a projector or a screen in the classroom. And students check in using their smartphone by just going into any um, QR code scanning app or uh, even better through the Studo app. They get out their smartphone, scan the code and bam, that's it, you're done. The check-in just takes a few seconds and not 10 minutes at the beginning of the lecture while the list is being passed around causes way less interruption as well. And the second half is the administrative experience. This may, so sorry, before moving on, this makes the students and teachers happy because it's so quick and easy. And the administrative experience makes uh, the secretariat happy and also the university themselves because they can spend a lot of, res uh, they can save a lot of resources um, in the administration department. 
So normally they would the administration would have to collect all these lists at the end of each semester, as I've said, and manually go through each of them. But instead with DAL, you get this dashboard, which has all the courses and all the courses presence rates for each student calculated automatically in real time. And you never have to do any manual work on that. For example, the use case would be that you can see which students don't meet the required attendance rate and then choose to contact them or maybe adjust their grades according to your university's rules or a rule book. And for example, as I've mentioned, when a student gets sick, they can request um, an exemption for that and bring up a reason, for example, a certificate from a doctor. And it's easy to adjust this student's attendance rate right in the, in the digital attendance list. So this frees up the resources um for your administration and they can help in other parts for example i don't know giving better introductions to your students communicating with them in case they have other issues and just excel in other um, areas that aren't so administratively expensive moving on the last question that reminds us when can we start um um, you're probably happy to hear that the setup effort is absolutely minimal, which will keep your IT staff happy, most probably, because um, starting with the next winter semester, DAL can be set up on universities who use the campus online um, campus management system with zero effort, thanks to a plugin which we developed uh, in collaboration with the um, campus online developers. And this allows you to just enable the plugin this gives, access, uh, this gives the digital attendance list access to your campus management system to import the courses, students, and events. And you can just start, it, start using it without any um, big effort on your side. And for all other universities who use a different campus management system, uh, you just need to provide a small and simple API access so DAL can uh, get access to your courses and students. And that is this, that's it then your administration can start using DAL and get all of its benefits. And it's also really flexible because we made DAL not just for the single university that's trialing it right now, but rather for every university. And it can easily be adapted to your university's specific workflows or requirements. And many parameters can even be tuned right inside the website uh, with zero downtime or development effort on our part. And should your requirements ever change significantly, we can adapt it within days to match your new requirements. So what you can do is go to studio.com to check out the live demo of the digital attendance list, or just get in touch with us so we can discuss your university's needs. And now I'd, um, to not keep this as a dry talk, I'd like to open it up to questions, or if there aren't any immediate questions, I would show uh, for example, the flow of how a student who couldn't check into a lecture, for example, because their phone died, can request a check in through the digital attendance list. And the teacher um, would approve or deny this check in request. I'll keep sharing my screen for now. But maybe, Christoph, if you can look at the chat and see if there are any questions. And if not, uh, I would move on to show you this flow. Yeah. There are no current questions as far as I can see. Please, everyone, feel free to just um, put a question into the chat or the Q&A section. But I think as of now, Filippo, we are good. So yeah, maybe maybe show the flow. Cool. So I prepared these two pages. Um, one of them is a student's page, and one of them is the teacher's page. I'll, go, I'll explain in more detail soon. But as you can see, this is the live demo of the digital attendance list, which you can also try out yourself. And it's all linked on our website as well at studo.com. This is what a student sees when they log into DAL. Uh, they have all their courses and they have all their presence rate for these courses. And as you can see in this, in this demo, the presence rate is 0% because uh, um, this student hasn't checked into any event so far. But let's say, uh, that yesterday I joined um, an event or a course of operating systems. And just before I could check in, my phone's battery died, so I couldn't use the QR code. So what the student would do is go to the course, 
search for the event, which I mean could have been this one. And here you can see your lectures and just request that I wasn't present, but I request the check-in. This gives the student the option to specify why, why didn't this work? And I'll just say uh, my phone's battery died. I couldn't scan the code. And this request is submitted. And on the other end, the teacher can then uh, see this request and either approve or deny it, which you can see here. This is the teacher's view. They have a dashboard with all their courses, the required presence rates, and also the option to show the uh, QR code, which you saw previously in my presentation. So let's see right here if there are any check-in requests. And as you can see, Julia Jungmeier requested a check-in for the event we just did with a message and the date when this was requested. And we choose to approve this because uh, we talked to her during class, for example, and she explained the problem. She explained her phone's battery died. So we will approve this with no problem. And then she's just checked in. It's as simple as that. And the attendance rate for her is updated automatic automatically. And yeah, this was just an easy flow. One minute of effort on the teacher side, one minute of effort on the student side without any involvement of the administrative offices or uh, um, the secretariat. Normally you might have to contact your uh, the administrative office and say, oh, um, I couldn't sign the list or maybe the list wasn't handed to me or some other case, I was sick and here's my excuse. This creates a huge burden, which is skipped through this system where the teacher just directly accepts the check-in request from the student. Um, that, Philip, I think there's is sometimes there in, in courses with a couple of hundred students, it's uh, obviously uh, there may be concerns uh, whether the QR code could be just passed on, photographed and, and passed on. Could you could you shed a light on that, how, how that is being dealt with? Sure, sure. Um, let me just see one second. If I can bring it up in the live demo, I'm not sure about that because, ah, perfect. Okay, I can show this entire screen. So can you all see the live demo? Christoph? It's like the presentation. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, yes it, uh, ah, it works. Okay. Yeah, it, it works, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this, I'll, I'll show you. This is uh, the live QR code from the teacher's view. So the, teachers bring, the teacher brings up this website and chooses to show the QR code on a projector screen. And as you can see here, the lecture starts at 10, uh, 10 a.m. and goes to 11.40. And this is the QR code they see. And as you might see, it changes every so often. And this is the protection against just taking a photo, sharing it to your group chat, and having everyone sign in, uh, check in by scanning the photo, because it's just valid for a couple of seconds. And during that time, um, the students can check in, but not after that. This is the protection against these huge classroom problems. And yeah, saves a lot of time and also prevents the students from yeah, just never being there, always scanning the pictures that someone just sends them of the QR code. And as you can see at the bottom here, it's also live. So if I go to scan this QR code right now, um, I would be checked in and this number will update in real time. So if your class has 25 students and at the end of the check-in round, 25 students are checked in, you can be sure that everyone's here and just start immediately with your lecture. And that's that. Are there any questions in the chat or from Christoph, you or Lolo? I think this was uh, the one question uh, Ms. Pock uh, was asking us. Mm -hmm. about the check-in system. Uh, uh, I think you just answered it very well. Thank you, Filippo. Thank you. So thank you for introducing this to the app. Uh, I wish my university uh, had this app. And if there, if there, uh, any, uh, if there are not any other uh, requests, suggestions, questions, I would like to mm -hmm. room and send you all back to the lobby. 
it so. Yes, so thank you very much again to the student team. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you.